Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster and welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 2. Well, last time we gained the ability to become the Great Bird, we also went fishing, and managed to pick up the Emperor Sword, the best sword in the game for reuse. Now, in order to continue with the plot, we need to go to Cotland, which we've been asked to do, and it's just south of Farm Town. So if we just go south of here, we can enter this area right here. I've brought Cat into the party also, um, because we need her for this next part. We need her a special ability to break down the rocks uh, to get into this town here. By the way, I went to Gunt's off screen uh, since the last episode, since, uh, you know, all I need to do is work there, so we're good. Yes! We also went to the St. Eva's Church last time, and uh, have decided to come up with a plan to try and stop them from apparently they're being possessed by a demon or whatever. Um, so we also had to go uh, get out of that, get out of that place by working our way through a toilet. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. So this is the, I guess, kind of like the resistance faction, if you will. Claustrophobic? Oh, well that can't be good. Throw away your feelings of hatred and pray to God to bring peace to the world. Um, I mean, that kind of sounds okay, I guess. I. Oh, I see. Habaruku. I mean, throwing away feelings of hatred don't, doesn't seem bad. Or it doesn't seem bad. I, I saw Bando and said bad. Woo! Well, apparently there's a place called Bando, and we're probably going to have to visit that in the future. I mean, maybe not, I don't know, but... Okay, let's see what's going on. This house uh, seems to be important because it's got a flag at the top, so let's check it out. And who do we have here? Whoa! Ah, Tiga! What's up, man? Well, and Kat wasn't even with us last time, but she just happens to know what's going on. Uh, whoa! <laughs> hey, hey, all right. Hmm, Tiga seems to be smitten with... Uh, whoa! Dang, he jumps across that table real quick. Oh, I see. Whoa! He, uh, seems kind of smitten with Cat there. <laughs> uh, that's kind of funny. Uh, no, nah, he kind of sucks. All right, let's defeat St. Eva together. Oh, they're gonna destroy the Grand Church. Oh, well, why not? Oh. Thieves' Tomb. I think that's supposed to be themes or the Thieves' Tomb. Hmm. All right, well, we gotta try and get some money. And we need to get the sponsor back so we can get some cash. All right, well, uh, let's go take care of that. All right, uh, sounds good. Wow. So perhaps we'll have a little romance brewing here. We'll see about that. Okay, well now we need to make our way out of this town, so let's put Cat in the head of Leah. I don't know why those boulders come back, but. All right. So, in order to get, let's see, what's gonna be the fastest way to get there? Okay, it's probably gonna be this one. So the fastest way for us to get there is we're going to go ahead and warp to High Fort. Oh, and I can just go right back to Cotland uh, by warping. So that's nice. So let's warp here to High Fort. And put Nina, uh, put Nina in the lead. There we go. Summon the bird. I believe if we go just south of here, we should be able to find... Ha-ha! There it is. And now we're here in the Thieves' Tomb. If you try to come here earlier, um, there's just a huge long line of people here. Uh, and you can't really advance here in the block. Trap. And there's enemies. Okay, we have some new enemies here. Sheeps. Now, the reason that I have Nina with us is it's time for her to put her angel spell to use. Ow! Whew. Don't hit cat. 
Jeez. Wow. Holy crap. Okay. This is gonna be drift. This is gonna be a little more tricky than I thought. Yeah, there you go. Nice job. And we gained a level for Cat there. Uh, since Cat's kind of important to the, the plot, we figured I might as well bring her along. And of course you have Spar for healing. And uh, Ryu because you need Ryu. Okay, now this music is like the Shaman music. And we gained another level for Nina there. Alright. Man, these zombies aren't fooling around. Holy cow. No, it's a good thing. I think we've got Spar here with us. She may be, uh, maybe getting more use out of her uh, than we thought. Okay, now we have this room, and this room is kind of tricky. Now, there are no enemies in this room, which is nice, but there are lots of holes in the ground. Oh, I already have a double hole. All right. So. We, want to, we got to try very hard to not let ourselves fall into one of these holes here. And they appear to move around randomly, so we just got to be very careful here. Um, and not let yourself get... Ah, oh, dang it! I fell down the hole. Crap. Oh, it gets really hard from here. Uh, yes, I do. Misfortune will come your way if you have an angry face. Oh, well, that's terrible. Oh! Okay. Well, that's nice. Okay. No, we got it. So basically what happens here is we need to... Uh, we need to go on these different faces and each of them do a different thing. Um, now, what, what we want to do is, uh, let's see, just for this first one, we want to try and avoid the purple faces whenever possible. And really, the bronze faces are good, the green faces are, are good, and the blue faces, weird things can happen. So, uh, let's go with the bronze one. Now, let me show you, uh, let me show you that. Okay, we've got these enemies here, these key hoods. I believe they're dead enemies. So Angel should work. Oof, man, we really need to... We really need to get... Uh, cat beefed up with some levels there. Uh-oh. She zombied our party. Hopefully this will work the way I want it to. Nope. Dang it. For some reason I thought I could use... Woo! Nicely done. Okay. Oh, we gotta try and uh, finish these guys off as quickly as possible. Uh, let's see. Go team! Come on, Ryu. Finish him. There we go. Got him. Whew. My goodness. But did you see that attack power with Ryu? All right. Now I think the the. Uh, those those uh, faces only appear if you happen to get into a random battle on on top of one of them. Okay, now let's see. What does that glove do? Let's see if I can put that in something. It's an upgrade, slight upgrade in the shield there. Let's see if anyone else can equip it. Nope. So it looks like the only one can equip it is Ryu. So let's uh, upgrade his attack power there. I thought I can sell that Magnum armor too. All right, one more chest to get. See if I can get it without falling into one of these holes. Here. Nope! Crap! Okay, I'll just meet you on the top floor there. Maybe I can get out of it. There we go. Okay, so I want to try and get that well, last chest up there. Okay. No! Okay. Alright, well, I'll just do this off screen and I'll let you know when I've made it to that chest there. Oh, first I'll show you off a new enemy here, Anubis. Now, I can definitely tell that that's a dead enemy. So, Angel should work just fine. Gosh, I hate that Rotten Breath ability that turns your characters into zombies. That zombie status ailment can be pretty, uh... Eww! Can be pretty, uh... 
annoying too. Because basically it gives your character one one turn to live, and then they die. You know, it doesn't really work on those Anubis. Oh well. Fortunately we have Ryu that can kick everybody's ass. Okay, well now I'll let you know what I've made it to that treasure chest. Off screen. Okay, I made it to the treasure chest, and we get a sun mask! Dang it. Okay, I fell. Well, that's alright. Alright. So let's, uh, let's see. Cat probably is gonna, let's see, who needs the defense the most? Probably Cat, so let's see if we can give her that sun mask. Yeah, that's a good increase in defense for her. Alright, very good. Okay, now there's a chest down there, so let's go see if we can get that chest. And another level for Cat. She kind of gained, uh, she gained a level there. All right, uh, let's, oops, let's uh, heal up there. I'm gonna use some W fruits here. Okay. Now let's see. Okay, I guess you know what? Let me uh, let me show you what happens here if you get into a battle on a random tile here. Okay, so we have this battle. Ooh, I even got a lead up attack. Perfect. So we'll be able to finish this really quickly then. So we'll end this battle here. There we go. Got him. Now, we're winning a battle on this face. We found a coin. So that's a strange, so strange effects can happen around this blue one. You can either find a coin, lose 300 coins, find the star sword, which is a, a not as powerful version as the empire sword, or the character and the lead of your marching order becomes cursed. So not really good things there. Now on the angry face, uh, bad things can happen. So we want to hopefully not get into a battle. Crap. Okay, a bad thing's going to happen here. Ah, and one of our characters got poisoned. Crap. And see, we all unfortunately got poisoned. Do I have antidotes? Uh oh. I may have to go. Uh, I may have to go recover. Okay. We anyways, we get a Kramer bracelet. Let's see if I can figure out what that does. I'm not quite sure. I've looked up. Uh, I've looked up everywhere. And I'm not quite sure what the Kramer bracelet does. So, okay. What I need to do is I need to go get some antidotes, and then I will meet you back. I've gotten all the treasure here in this area, so I'll meet you back at uh, those stairs where we fell before. Once I have um, gotten some antidotes and stuff like that, because I forgot to get those. Oops. My bad. Okay, I made it back and I got some antidotes there. So, okay. Now, the goal is... The goal is to make our way to the north. And obviously we want to avoid um, these purple ones as much as we can. Those angry faces. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and... Let's go ahead and use a smoke here. Because I don't want to hit the enemy as much, especially in this area here. Okay. By the way, the smoke uh, works on those Anubises just fine. Or Angel works on those Anubises. And another level for Cat. Uh, by the way, I'll list in the video description what all of the uh, different tiles do and the different uh, things that you can do here. Um, careful, one of the other bad things about the purple ones is sometimes you can fall into a trap. And if you do that, you have to start this area all over again. And that can be really, really annoying. Okay. Well, let's take a look around and see what's going on here. Oh, what the heck? Hello? Let's see if we can talk to this person here. What's a... Uh... Aha! Hey! Well, let's follow this person. She looks like she was trapped. Hey, 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 hey. Patty, eh? Oh, is that right? Haha! -ha! Oh, it's a thief's grave. So, uh, oh, so we're fighting a lot of dead thieves, I guess, down there. Hmm. So obviously if you tried to come to this room before opening that gate, you couldn't because the staircase wasn't there. What's up there, Patty? Oh, let's check out the chest ourselves. Oh! Aha! 
and we find a secret passage. And if we go in here, we get... We get the evidence! Alright, sounds good. Well, let's get out of here, and let's make our way back. Are we all good? Yeah, we want to make our way back to Kotlin. So let me, uh... Hey, what? Uh, all right, very good. All right, now can we warp out of here? Right, let me get to, to a place where we can fight enemies. And then basically I'll warp out of here, and I'll meet you back at Cotland once we are done with that. Okay, I've made it back here to Cotland. So let's, uh, let's uh, return to Tiga there. And let's see what uh, he has to say now that we've brought the evidence. Man, I'm glad we didn't have to fight that thief. Hey! There she is! Oh, so I guess she was the sponsor. Alright. Uh, very good. Alright. Very good. Uh, okay. Sure, what's up? Uh, cat's starting to sweat profusely. What's going on? What?! You don't, you barely know each other. What do you mean you want him to marry her? That doesn't make any sense. Like, they've spoken to each other for like maybe one minute. Yeah, exactly. What are you talking about? Like, I mean, besides, cat's like a cat thing and Tiga's like a tiger. Yeah, I mean... Well, I guess we're from the same tribe, but yeah, I mean, it's like... You haven't even gone out on a date. You probably don't even know each other's last names. Uh-huh. Man, Tia, I guess he gets pretty low. Whoa! He's getting pretty offensive there. Or aggressive there, rather. Dude. You better watch out. Tia, Kat's my friend there, uh, Tiga. And I can, uh... I got some tricks up my sleeve to kick your ass there, Tiga, if you're not careful. Uh, okay. All right. What exactly are you talking about? Yeah, we're just friends. It's all good. Uh-huh. Whoa! What? Fight? What are you talking about? Huh? What the hell? What's going on now? Yeah, we're just friends. Like, I don't understand what's going on. Now all of a sudden, Tiga wants to fight us. Are we really just friends? Is Tiga going to challenge us to a fight? What's going to happen next? You're going to wait until next time to find out. Till then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Don't forget to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter at BCS Buster LP, check out the donations page, and as always, take care of y'all. Man, it's about to get real.